Welcome to a day in my life. Good morning. <laughs> I forgot to eat breakfast. The girls are all ready to go. I really, really like it. It has got this little sleeper for Isla. Sorry, Lennon is like running laps around, <laughs> making sure that they feel loved and. <laughs> you guys and welcome back to another vlog it is may 17th it is wednesday i'm making my coffee it's 7 26 a.m i have been just having the hardest time waking up early nowadays i did get up at like 6 45 so i was able to have like 15 minutes to brush my teeth and like have alone time but luca gets up at seven i don't know what it is like everything in me does not want to get out of bed in the morning and it's mostly because I'm tired. Like, I just, I feel like I need more sleep. I mean, I don't think I need more sleep. Isla's been sleeping pretty good, and I go to bed, like, at least by 10.30 every night. So I don't know what it is, but I'm trying to wake up at 6, and it has not been working. <laughs> I don't know why I need more sleep, but I don't. just don't like mornings. Anyone who thought that me trying to wake up before my kids was easy, it is not easy. <laughs> Anyways, today's Wednesday. Coffee will help. Um, it is Luca's last day of preschool today, which is so sad. It's so sad. I can't believe it's already over. And if you didn't know, he was going to like a homeschool co-op one day a week. It's like a preschool program. He loved it so much and he looked forward to it and I'm really sad it's over and I don't think we're gonna do it next year. I think um, next year I'm just gonna like full-time homeschool him myself for like kindergarten. So yeah, it's very bittersweet that it's over to make him some breakfast and make his lunch for school today. The girls are still sleeping, by the way. Take you guys along our day. I'm not really sure what we're doing. I do need to go to the store. Welcome to a day in my life. <laughs> His lunch is made. I think Isla is waking up. I can hear her. So I'm gonna go get her and then see if Luca wants something for breakfast. I want toast. Want some toast? Yeah. With some butter? Yeah. Okay. Good morning. Luca, I'm telling you. take a last day of school picture does anyone else remember when I wrote this like uh, for his first day of school I vlogged it um, and I was pregnant time flies guys also feels like it was just yesterday okay my chalk marker 
does not want to work, so we're using real chalk. Not perfect, but it'll do. Gonna do his hair real quick. Desperately needs a haircut, but. All right, guys, I sent Luca off to school. My mom picks him up, which is the best. Um, I'm going to do my makeup really quick, and I'm going to leave the house with the girls. We're going to go to the store. I still need to eat something. I'm starving. I, I fed the kids, but I didn't feed myself, so yeah, we're going to go to the store. Um, I need to find like a 70s outfit or something for uh, mom's group tomorrow. We're having like a party because it's our last meeting of the year, so we're having like a 70s theme. Uh, meeting so I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup and then we're gonna go to the store and I just feel like I want to be productive I was really productive yesterday so I'm gonna continue that today my battery's dying you right Lennon <laughs> I just got this it's a cosmetics CC cream. It's kind of expensive, but I got it for my birthday. I bought it for myself. So um, I really, really like it. It has SPF 50 in it, which is awesome. And I feel like it's really good coverage, but it just like blends nicely and I use my fingers. So just wanted to share that. Love that product. And I'm going to finish doing makeup really quick and I'll get myself ready and the girls ready and we can go. Okay. The girls are all ready to go. Can you get your water, Lennon? Get your water. My tripod just sitting on the floor. This is what I'm wearing today with my um, Nikes. I feel like it's hot outside, so I might be a little hot with the sweater, but I just don't have any t-shirts of mine that I like. Or maybe I just wear them too much, I get tired of them. My shorts and my sweater are both from Target. Surprise, surprise. We're gonna go to Walmart, and I also am trying to find this tanning gel thing that I will show you if I find it because everybody is using it and talking about it and I want to try it so alrighty we're in the car um as always I forgot to eat breakfast I'm so bad at that I should really stop and get something but I got a apple bar I'm gonna eat this and then yes sunglasses that's what I was looking for I like I said I'm looking for maybe like some like bell-bottom pants or flare leggings or something like that that I can make into like a 70s look for mom's group tomorrow and then just like basically to get out of the house we're gonna just like shop around and see if I can find that self tanner stuff and then we'll come back home and hopefully I can get some stuff done I have like I don't for me to go through the kids clothes and like see what fits them see what doesn't fit them and get rid of stuff for like summer and all so see if i can get some of that done today i also i mean there's always things on the back of my mind that i need to do i have a real i need to film hopefully today as well for some cleaning products so i could use all the energy maybe i should get myself some breakfast i've really been liking chick-fil-a breakfast burrito they're so good. A little overpriced. Everything at Chick-fil-A is overpriced now. I feel like any fast food restaurant is, their prices have went up a lot. The quality is the same, so I don't get it. <laughs> All right, I just got to Walmart and I also got myself a bre breakfast burrito from Chick-fil-A, like I said. So I'm gonna eat this in the car. I love when I pull up to Chick-fil-A and open my app and it like gives me a reward for like visiting. So it gave me another reward to like get a breakfast item. So I guess, it just makes you keep coming back. That's their, that's their tactic. <laughs> so good. My best friend Megan got me hooked on these, and they're so good. Okay, crazy hectic store trip. My sister actually met up with us, and uh, there were four kids, and they were crazy. So we are done. I did find some pants that I can wear that are kind of like 70s style um, to wear tomorrow, but I didn't find that self tanner stuff that I was looking for. Um, it said they had it in stock at this Walmart, but I did not see it. So maybe I'll just like add it to my pickup order next week, see if they can find it for me. But I'm nursing Isla right now before we go home because she was hungry. So yeah, that is the update. <laughs> All right, we are home. I just made Lennon some lunch. You want some more? Can you eat your lunch first? Yeah, go eat your lunch first. She has been wanting to eat cereal all morning. And she has already had like three cups of cereal today. So if your toddler only wants to eat snacks, you are not alone because that's 
That's my toddler's <laughs> little Walmart haul. It's super small, but I got what I needed, which was some little 70s pants. I feel like I should have got a small because these look kind of big. But they're like flare leggings and they have this floral print. They only had like two patterns to choose from, so they were seven dollars. So hopefully they work for tomorrow. And um, I got some of these chips because. Oh, you gotta eat your lunch first, baby. No, go eat your lunch, please. Your lunch. I got these tortilla chips because we needed more. Brandon's been kind of trying to do gluten-free, so I am trying to find a good version of corn tortilla chips that taste good. The last ones I got did not taste good. I also got this little sleeper for Isla. My kids, like all of them, need new PJs because they, they're just growing out of them. And I preferably like the ones without the feet for Isla because I feel like the feet ones they grow out of even quicker. I remember Lennon, I had to like cut holes out of all her ones with the feet because they were just too tight, but they fit everywhere else, but the foot made it like too tight. So anyways, I thought this pattern was super cute and I think it was $9, the Modern Moments brand. We went to the clearance section and I got a couple of random things. They had a few random school supplies on sale, so I got this pair of scissors. They were 75 cents for like little kid scissors. I got a ruler. I'm just starting to collect all my homeschool supply stuff and I don't have a ruler. And then they had all these cute little planter like pots on sale for 50 cents, originally $5. They're ceramic too, so. Look how cute. This was 50 cents, I cannot believe it. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for. I know we're gonna do some gardening this weekend. Um, so I got two of them. I got a white one and like this terracotta color. And that is everything I got. I'm going to see if I can get these girls down for a nap after Lennon eats her lunch. Hopefully she's eating it. But I got a package from Solly Baby yesterday that I didn't open yet. And I'm actually really excited because I got a new baby wrap and it is the cutest print. Oh my gosh, I was this one was like out of stock for so long and I really wanted it. Finally came back in stock. This really cute, like checkered green and white. These are my favorite baby wraps. They are so soft and I feel like they're really like lightweight. They work best for when your babies are smaller and not as heavy, but I feel like we'll still get some use out of this because I still like to wear her, especially when I'm out and about like shopping or um, like at church and stuff. I always wear her, I always wear her at church so she can get a good nap on me. And then they sent this little sleeper set I think it comes with like the top and the little pants which is good because like I said she needs more sleepers because she's growing out of all of them so cute thank you Solly baby I'll put um, the link to these in the video description all right Isla is awake Luca is home I just got done shooting some content I have my stuff still out my tripod I was shooting some content for these cleaning products for a sponsored post so now I need to wake Lennon up because it's 3 30 and I did not mean for her to sleep that long so I'm gonna grab her and then I think I'm gonna start dinner I didn't eat lunch I've been terrible at eating today sometimes I get like that when I'm like busy with content all day <sighs> I need to get better hello again guys it's actually a few days later since I last recorded anything it is Monday May 22nd I'm about to get everybody ready we have a few places to go I want to get Luca a haircut he desperately needs a haircut I didn't want to Sorry, Lennon is like running laps around the house. I've been wanting to learn how to cut his hair myself, but I'm just a little nervous to get that going and to learn. So if you have any tips for me on that process of learning how to cut hair, um, little boy's hair, leave me some comments in the video because I want to learn so bad. His haircut's just... He needs them so often and they add up. Careful, Luca. And I feel like... I could learn, but I'm just like a little nervous. I feel like I'm gonna mess it up. I want to do a Q&A, but first I wanna talk about one of our favorite toy brands, subscription box brands, and that is Love Every. If you watch any of my videos, you know we love Love Every. They have subscription box play kits for kids based on their age, and they send you toys that are designed and thought of for your kid developmentally. Learning toys, which I love. Lennon is having a blast. 
Anyways, they also have a selection of a few different play things that are like bigger items and they sent us this really cool tunnel. It's a cotton play tunnel and it is so cool. You can like close it up really small and then open up. Um, so let me just show you because Luca has it already set up on the couch as a really cool tunnel and slide for his trucks. So let me show you what he's got going on here. All right, Luca, you want to explain what you did? Yeah, it's on the floor. So this is the tunnel by Love Every. I'll have a link to my description. But it's actually really nice cotton material. It's really soft and it has like wires in it so you can actually like move it around and fold it up. Luca has it set up for his cars and he did this all by himself, a little tunnel track for his cars to go down. There's obviously a ton of different ways you could play with this tunnel. My kids have done so many things with it and they love it so much. I love that they can use their imagination to do different things with it. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Whoa! We also have the love every play mat for Isla and she loves this thing. It's always out in my living room. <laughs> that was so cool. It's got his monster trucks going down the tunnel. So thank you, Love Every, for this really cool tunnel. We've already had it out for a week or so, and the kids have loved playing with it. You gonna make him race again, Luca? Megalodon. Megalodon. Megalodon versus Blue Thunder. All right, ready, set, go. I think the Megalodon one. You want to do this one? Oh, All right, Grave Digger versus Blue Thunder. Uh, okay, ready, set, go. Okay, we are going to keep playing before we head out the door. Isla is napping right now, um, but I want to take Luca to get a haircut, and then also Isla has a pediatrician appointment at 11.15, so we're going to go do that. I did ask you guys on Instagram for a bunch of questions for the vlog, and I actually got quite a few questions, a lot of like homeschool-related questions. So I think I'm going to sit down and answer those really quick. Okay, so I'm down here in our little office homeschool area. And I'm going to pull up these questions that I got from Instagram. Thank you guys for sending in some questions. Sometimes it's like hit or miss if I'll get some questions back or not. But you guys sent in a lot of good ones. So the first one is, what's your fave tripod for at home? Um, for vlogging, I use this one I got from Amazon. I'm just going to, I'll go ahead and link all the ones that I have. If you can see that on my phone, that's what it looks like. This is the one with like the bendable legs so you can like wrap it around, manipulate it however you need to for filming. And that's one I use for vlogging. You brought the tunnel down here. Um, and then for Instagram, I have one that I use for my phone. I will link that below, but it's really nice because it folds up really small and then it gets really tall. And it also comes with a clicker so I can take my own photos. And those are like the two main tripods I use. I have a bigger one for my vlog camera that's like taller but it's broken so I don't use that as much somebody asked how many years was I homeschooled for I was homeschooled for all of my schooling I've never been to public school my whole entire schooling besides college I was homeschooled for so um how much time a day do you play with your kids is it hard to balance housework and kids I don't really set a time limit on that but whenever I get like a chance to whenever Luke asks me or Lennon I will go and play with them it definitely is hard with a baby because I feel like I can't play with them as much as I'd like to because I live so little and she needs me to hold her a lot or um, entertain her or nurse her so it's definitely hard I'm glad that I have my husband when he gets off work to um, devote more time to them yeah. but I don't fully like enjoy playing games and toys and stuff I just I don't love it and I feel like that is okay you don't have to love and enjoy playing with your kids making sure that they feel loved and valued as a person and trying to fill their cup as much as I can during the day that is what I aim to do kind of all day long I will go back and forth doing housework playing with them to getting whatever they need to housework and back and forth so 
my brain is just back and forth all day long. My favorite Taylor Swift song. So this is hard because I have so many favorites. Right now, my favorite is probably Lavender Haze. I don't know why that's just been my jam lately. I really like the acoustic version of Lavender Haze. Um, it's on Spotify, it's like one of the singles. And then one of my favorite albums though, which I feel like is really underrated, is Folklore. I love the acoustic -y jams. Like I love the acoustic music. So I love Folklore and Evermore a lot. Folklore probably more. I love Invisible String and I love Illicit Affairs. So good. And your favorite thing about being a stay-at-home mom of three? Um, I think I just, I really like, yeah, I just, I love it all. I love that they keep me going, that they keep me motivated. I love taking care of them. I love taking them out places and getting to experience stuff with them. I love never being alone. Um, I grew up in a big family of 11 kids, so I'm not used to being alone. I love being like surrounded by people and family, and I think that just having that big family is like where my heart is. I love it. Someone said, starting homeschool with a newborn soon, so just wondering how it can be done. Um, um, I'm wondering that too. This will be my first year in the fall starting homeschool with Luca full time. My plan is to maybe do like, sorry if you can't hear me. Plan is to do like three days a week solid um, school days. So maybe like Monday, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. Or I spend a few hours in the morning. Or maybe even just like an hour or two like actually doing schooling. And then throughout the week we can do like learning stuff like field trips, like baking. At home, doing yeah, chores yeah. at home, yeah, gardening. Yeah. There's so many things throughout the day that you can make like practical learning lessons, yeah, and that's what I love about homeschool. Anything can be considered homeschool, so I'm I'm just excited to dive into it. I'll have to take advantage of like nap times for babies and stuff, and then um, try to find ways to occupy Lennon so I can focus on Luca and stuff like that. But it's gonna be a learning experience. I'm definitely gonna take you guys along with me on that journey, so stay tuned. Someone said, could you share on how you juggle homeschool and the baby girls? Excited for you. Um, I haven't fully started the homeschool journey, so I'm like I answered in the last question. I'm going to be documenting that and learning, but that is my plan. Three days a week, try to get stuff done in the morning or during nap time, and maybe like an hour or two a day. That is where my brain is at right now. Um, someone asked my summer plans. Um, we do have a vacation next month. We're going to a lake with um, my best friend and her family. She has two little kids as well. So that is the only kind of summer plan that we have so far. I wanna be opposed to planning like last minute weekend trips. I think that sounds really fun. But so far that is our only solid vacation at the end of June. Someone said, I just wanted to say you're the best mama and hope you had a great Mother's Day. And I really appreciate that. I hope you had a great Mother's Day as well. Someone asked, what is making you decide to homeschool? I think my main two things are I was homeschooled and I love the experience. I loved it. And I guess that's just how I grew up. So I want my kids to experience that as well is what I know. And then um, number two is I'm just really, to be honest, I'm just really terrified of the public school system. My sister and my best friend are both teachers in the public school system and they tell me so many stories and I just, I really want to stay away from that as much as I can to protect my kids and my family and their brains and their minds. I just want to protect them. I know I can't protect them forever. But seeing how I was homeschooled and how I came through with it and how I was socialized just as much as any other school kid, I just want the best for them. And obviously if homeschooling doesn't work out for us, I will definitely consider the public school journey. But I want to at least try and see if it fits us. Yeah, baby? You should do a park sometimes, then you can... Okay, well, can we'll see if we can plan a play date, okay? So that is where I'm at with why I decided to homeschool. Okay, and I think that is all the questions that I got from Instagram. Hopefully that wasn't too long. Hopefully I answered all those questions. If you have any more for me, leave them in this video and I will answer them in my next vlog. But yeah, are you excited to start homeschool? Yeah, yeah mama's gonna be your teacher next year. Teacher next year? I'm gonna be your teacher. What? Yeah.